Hello everyone, now let us discuss about ICD-10CM manifestation codes for diabetes mellitus part 2. In the current session, we will be discussing the various codes for diabetic retinopathy. Now we know that the diabetic retinopathy comes under the diabetes mellitus with ophthalmic complications. And the code for diabetes mellitus with ophthalmic complication is given by the category E11.3 and this is further expandable. E11.3 is for type 2 diabetes mellitus or diabetes mellitus NOS. And it is further subcategorized into E11.31. This is also further classifiable E11.32, E11.33, E11.34, E11.35, 36, 37 and finally 39. This is the final code. And under it, wherever it is mentioned 7th character, CH means character, 7th character, those codes they require 7th character. One of the 7th characters to, is to be assigned to the respective codes to designate the laterality of the disease. In majority of the cases, the 7th char character is used to designate the laterality. 7th character 1 indicates right eye, 7th character 2 indicates left eye, 7th character 3 indicates bilateral, and 7th character 9 indicates unspecified. For example, if a condition is bilateral, you need not quote 1 and 2 separately. Simply by giving 7th character 3, it indicates bilateral whenever they are applicable, wherever they are applicable. Now, here are the various ophthalmic complications of diabetes mellitus. Here we are going to discuss type 2 or diabetes mellitus NOS. So, diabetes mellitus NOS with retinopathy. It is given by the code E11.319. For diabetic mellitus with retinopathy NOS, the code is E11.319. This is the final code. And for diabetic mellitus, diabetes mellitus with retinopathy with macular edema, this is also the final code. The code is E11.311. And for DM, I will simply say DM. DM means diabetes mellitus. DM with retinopathy with macular edema resolved following treatment. It is given by the subcategory E11.37. This is further classifiable and it requires the 7th character as we have discussed earlier. Next is DM with non-proliferative retinopathy. This also requires 7th character. The code for diabetes mellitus DM with Non-proliferative retinopathy is given by E11.329. This is also further expandable with the respective 7th character. Next, DM with non-proliferative retinopathy with macular edema. It is given by the subcategory E11.321. This is also further classifiable and requires 7th character. Next, DM with mild non-proliferative retinopathy. It is given by the code E11.329. Next, DM with mild non-proliferative retinopathy with macular edema. It is given by the code E11.321. Both the codes are further expandable with 7th character. The next is DM with moderate non-proliferative retinopathy. If you observe, simple Non-proliferative retinopathy NOS and non-proliferative retinopathy is again categorized into mild, moderate and severe. So, the code for moderate diabetes mellitus with moderate non-proliferative retinopathy, wherever in brackets if you can see 7th character, it requires the respective 7th character. It is given by the code E11.339 and this is further expandable. The next is DM with moderate non-proliferative retinopathy with macular edema. It is given by the code E11.331. This is also further expandable. The next is DM with severe non-proliferative retinopathy. It is given by the subcategory E11.341. Next, DM with severe non-proliferative retinopathy with macular edema. It is given by E11.349. This is also further expandable. 
next coming to proliferative retinopathy previously we had we have discussed the non proliferative retinopathy now coming to proliferative retinopathy dm with proliferative retinopathy the code is e11.359 the next dm with proliferative retinopathy with combined traction retinal deta detachment and rigmatogenous retinal detachment it is given by the subcategory e11.354 this is also further expandable with the respective seventh character next dm with proliferative retinopathy with macular edema it is given by e11.351 next dm with stable proliferative diabetic retinopathy it is given by the subcategory e11.355 next coming to dm with proliferative retinopathy with the traction retinal detachment involving macula it is given by the subcategory e11.352 next coming to dm with proliferative retinopathy with the traction retinal detachment not involving macula it is given by the subcategory e11.353 now coming to dm with diabetic cataract this is a final code e11.36 is the final code for diabetes mellitus with cataract or patient whenever he comes for diabetic cataract you can directly code e11.36 next coming to dm with other diabetic ophthalmic complications so whenever other ophthalmic complication other than the specified above or in the previous slide you need to code e11.39 and in addition to this e11.39 you need to use additional code to identify the manifestation for example glaucoma diabetic glaucoma can be a manifestation of diabetes mellitus under this case in order in addition to e11.39 you can use the glaucoma codes which come under the category h402 h42 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 now let us see an example patient presents for follow up visit this is a follow up visit for diabetic macular edema of right eye the laterality is right eye now completely resolved this is a follow up visit for diabetic macular edema now completely resolved so you need to code type 2 diabetes mellitus or diabetes mellitus nos with diabetic macular edema resolved following the treatment and they come under the subcategory e11.37 and additionally it requires a seventh character to indicate the laterality here the laterality is right eye so seventh character 1 1 indicates right eye and additionally here we don't have a sixth character some of the ophthalmic complications they have a respective sixth character and can you can you can simply as assign a seventh character to indicate the laterality but for those codes which do not have a sixth character and they require a seventh character in these circumstances in these special circumstances you need to utilize a placeholder character x this is also one of the convention the icd 10 cm utilizes a placeholder character x at certain codes to allow further expansion the function of character x is to allow further expansion here sixth character is not there but seventh character is required so to allow further expansion you use x in the place of sixth character and respective laterality code for the seventh character where a place holder exist the x must be used in order for the code to be considered a valid code whenever a seventh character is required unless and until you give all seven characters that ca that code is not considered a valid code so x is used as a placeholder character at certain codes to allow further expansion in addition to this x is used in adverse adverse effects also which come under the category t50 
to T50. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.